Welcome back to the group theory solutions. We've got exercise sheet 2 here and two very simple statements with easy proofs. And therefore this video is meant to be a tutorial of how to come up with those proofs, rewriting statements and working from there using the definition and, and proven properties is is very good to know and if you didn't do the exercises I invite you to take a sheet of paper, take a pen and follow along. I give you the possibility to pause now and then and think about the questions yourself. Okay, let's get started. In exercise 2 we've got that statement which says that we have to prove that all elements of a class are conjugate to each other. Take a moment to think about it and how to rewrite this into a mathematical statement and come back when you're done. Okay, you got it? Okay, we have that, actually we've got that hint in our exercise sheets. We say A, B and C are in the same conjugacy class and we need two more elements, X and Y, and we have that in our group G. A being conjugate to B means we have that similarity transform, which transform B into A. And the same is true for C, of course, these two elements if these two elements are the same, then A and B are equivalent and we've got nothing to prove actually. The next task is to how to how to take that mathematical reformulation of that problem and how to prove now our statement. Think about it, it's not very hard. Pause the video and come back later. Okay, you've got it? There's really no trick in here. This is a, as easy as it looks. We've got just the similarity transform of B is equal to the similarity transform of, of C. And all we do is just taking our elements x to the other side. So we've got B is equal to x to the minus 1 y c y to the minus 1 x. So this looks very neat indeed and you need a property which we've proven in exercise sheet 1 and I invite you to go back to our, our exercises there and think about which kind of property do we need to complete this proof. Come back when you're done. You got it? Yeah, it's exercise 6e we need actually and we can may we can we can impose brackets right here so we've got x to the minus 1y and then we invert these two elements with the use of our of our proven statement in exercise 6e and we can we can realize this is a new element z and this is a new element z to the minus 1 and z is in g because x and y is in g and this is a simple group property so this is it actually we've got it b is equal to z c z to the minus 1 which is exactly what we needed to prove let's move on to exercise 4 here we've got a statement that we have this reducible representation T which can be decomposed into the irreducible representations TR by the direct product right here. Our task, our first task is now to rewrite this, this information we have in terms of characters. What does it mean to take this piece of information and plug it into this equation? Think about it, it's it's not that it's not that hard. Pause right here and come back when you're done. Okay, you got it? It's really as easy as this looks like. We've got that sum over A and we've got that sum over R. And we have that prefactor and R squared, and we have that prefactor because we use both characters. Here we've got the complex conjugate because this is a, a square of the absolute value. So what do, you, what, what do we do next? My hint is look at our famous theorems for characters and maybe you can come up with something which, which you need to have. Remember what, you're, what, you're, uh, what you need to have in the end is we've got that NT. You can look up that definition in our... Uh, exercise sheet and you've got that times g which is the, is the order of our group. 
The step from here to there is not very hard. Think about it, how can you how can you come up with the intermediate step from here to there and come back when you're done? Okay? Yeah, exactly. It's it's just splitting up those two those two sums. We've got nr squared and we got that sum over a which is the complex conjugate of this character times the complex uh, times the usual of the character of the same character. And now all we have is this is by definition nt and this is when we use our average theorem theorem for characters just the order of our group which is by definition our little g right here. You've got that you got you've got that proven and I hope this video helped you. Please ask me if something is not clear to you. See you next time.